tonight. We're going to sync up the music on 89.5 FM KTSY to the fireworks a little later on. Now, you can also visit their booth in the back. A big thank you to KTSY. You've heard him on the air. Chaplain Brian Yeager. you got a message for these folks. And I think you've got an invitation that we just cannot turn down. Chaplain Brian Yeager, KTSY, give it up for him. Good evening! Are we having fun yet tonight? Okay, I'm not really sure. Are we having fun yet tonight? I want to ask you something right now. Are you proud to be an American? I'm going to ask you guys over here. Are you proud to be an American? Man, that little group of people over there about beat the rest of you out. Are you proud to be an American? I'll tell you what's great about America. It is the land of the free. How many of you experienced freedom tonight? How many of you experienced the freedom tonight to eat a funnel cake? Boo. This is America. We eat weird food. I mean, who is the guy that sat around and said, you know what I want to do? I'm going to take some pancake batter and deep fry that sucker and put some sugar on top. Only in America. A nut. We eat crazy stuff. Who's the guy that said, I'm going to take a hot dog, which we really don't want to know where that came from. I'm going to put some batter on it and deep fry that stuff. And I want to know who's the person that said, I'm going to take something that looks like my sheet ripped up into threads, dye it pink, and put it on a stick and call it cotton candy. We are the land of the free, and I think we're the home of the brave because of what we put inside our mouths sometimes. I've been to Louisiana. Anybody been to Louisiana? They eat some scary stuff down there. Been to the south? They eat okra. If you're wondering, the Bible speaks against that very clearly. I love America. I love America because we're celebrating the 4th of July, which is when a bunch of guys got together, stood up, and they said, We will be free. He said, we will no longer be a slave. We will no longer let someone else determine our destiny. We will be free. He said, we will have a government of the people by the people because we will have the freedom to pursue a relationship with God directly, not through anyone else, because we will be free. Yeah. Are you free tonight, my friends? Are you free tonight? Is that passion of freedom? That reminds me of a passage from the book of Hebrews which says, For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, despising its shame, because he said above everything else, I would rather die than lose out on you, because I want you to be free. It's a God who looked at you and your brokenness and you're messed up and hey, face it, look around the people around next to you. Just take a look around that person eating that cotton candy right now. Take that person next to you who's been tying balloons for the last half hour and just lost them. Take a look at that person next to you who's just a little bit sweaty. There ain't nobody here that ain't messed up just a little bit. And God said, I see in your messed up position, you're broken down, you're hurting, and I want to give you freedom tonight. I want to tell you right now, I want to tell you right now, that some of you are here enjoying great music, we're going to enjoy some great fireworks, but inside, you're bound up because you're not free. You're, f you're, you're tied up to bitterness and anger and pain. You're bound up right now by addictions that you can't break free of. You're bound up by a feeling of, that you've got to perform to make God happy or you might be damned. You feel bound up because you're not free. And tonight Jesus says, I came and I died to give you freedom right now. The Bible says who the Son has set free is free indeed. And tonight may be the night for you to experience freedom. And through the words of Brandon Heath's songs, Maybe it's through somebody next to you, but my friend, God wants to give you freedom tonight. 
We got some people who want to pray with you. You can see them. There's some of them down here on the tarmac. They got white shirts. It says prayer team on the back. It has a lanyard on the front with a name tag. It says prayer team. If you look straight back there, there's a prayer tent. They'd love to pray with you anytime during this evening. There's going to be some more music. You got plenty of time before the fireworks. You see, we're broken because inside us there's a part that needs to be filled up with Jesus. And if you're if you're feeling if you're feeling caught up and bound up today, Jesus wants to give you freedom. We want to be here for you. It's more than just the fireworks. It's more than just the music. God has an appointment with you because He wants to give you freedom. Father God, right now I pray that we would leave here as free people, new people transformed by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. That we would be truly free, Father. We wouldn't be bound up, caught up, tied down any longer, but you would give us your freedom. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.